Hello folks, oh, what to do for LRDI in the last two weeks or 15 days? Um, aggressively hit previous year questions. And very, very, very important to do that. Two reasons. One is they are the most uh, delightfully beautiful sets. And at least uh, some of them are. One or two of them are creepy, but most of them are really good. Second part, they are by definition the most representative set of LRDI puzzles for what you can expect in the exam. They are the closest to what you can find in the exam, they come in the exam. And so, for both of these reasons, it's very, very important to invest a lot of your time in the last two, two three weeks on previous year questions, especially for LRDI. If any of you out there has not seen all the questions for the last four years in LRDI, make that your primary objective, even your sole objective if only that much time remains. Go through previous year questions, try solving them, see the solution, see how it is done, think about what your approach would have been, go to the next one. For LRDI, camp on previous year questions. What you have done here is give a superb routine for attacking previous year questions over the next 15 days. It's super useful because they are categorized very well by different subgenres and sub-segments. I'm going to read all of this. Click on the link on this video. You'll be able to find this. Follow this. Follow some customized variant of this if you so want to. This is a super useful plan and kind of a rhythm to attack LRDI for, to do a ton of these sets um, broken beautifully by subcategories where you feel like, look, I've got this in the, in the 15 day run up to the, to the exam. It's a beautiful sequence put together rather well by our team. Go through it. Customize it if you find the need in your own way. Uh, but even otherwise, if you're going to just follow this, it's a beautiful sequence. This, uh, the, the link is available on the description. Give that a go. Once again, camp on PYQs in the next, till, till the exam. That's for sure.